I have some bad news. A few days ago, I issued Tiare a mission to go cave raiding, but he still hasn't returned. Do you have any idea where he might be? I see. In that case, I need to gather all the whistles available and search for Tiare. I need you to join the search party. Once you're ready, you can head out immediately. Bring some support if you need it. Hurry. situation. Come on now. Found something? A red whistle? Hmm. Seems to be Tiare's. Where did you find it? Around here? Look at the ground. There are bloodstains everywhere. Maybe. We have to do a thorough search of the area. Leader, the search on the north side is complete. Did you find anything? Sorry, no luck. All right. The search on the east side is complete, but we didn't find any clues. The search on the south side is complete. There is nothing to report. Seems like the west side's finished too. Any luck? Did you find anything? I see. <clears throat> We're heading back. That concludes the search. That includes you, too. We won't find anything more. You and I need to talk later. Talk to me once you're back at the orphanage. Are you sure about this, Tiare? You're not going to tell your friends? It's fine. At this rate, I won't make it. So please, give it to me again. Of course I'll share with you. I have plenty, after all. However, I won't take responsibility for what happens. That's fine. I don't have much time left. <coughs> hmm. It does appear there's not much time left. You must fulfill your promise. <sighs> right. Let's go. I'm sorry. Besides, in the end, I'm sure you'll... There you are. Good work. I contacted the Cave Raider Guild, but there have been no reports of a missing red whistle. The red whistle you found is still new. There's no mistake that it belonged to Tiare. It seems certain Tiare was involved in some sort of accident, but I'm still not convinced. With Tiare's skills and abilities, I highly doubt he'd have a fatal accident in that place. I'm calling off the search for Tiare. However, since you and Tiare were close, I won't forbid you from looking for more clues on your own. Just make sure you remember not to let it negatively affect your regular cave rating. But never forget, no matter who they are, the abyss will swallow anyone's life without hesitation. That, that's the reality of the abyss. You must always be prepared. 
I'm sorry, but could you treat my wounds a bit more gently? You'll have to tough it out. I must scrape out all the pus or the poison will spread throughout your body. <laughs> Stop screaming. <sighs> there. It's all done now, Mr. Dechuanga. Drink this antidote and get some rest. The herbs that work on this poison can't be preserved for long. I don't have any on hand. No! I'll pay any price. Please, hurry and get the cure. You say that, but you can't buy time with money. It's you! You came at the perfect time! My body has been poisoned by the thing that bit me back then. If my condition worsens, my life could be at stake. Will you please go and obtain the herbs needed for the antidote? Obviously, I will pay you for it. Oh, thank you. Are you a cave raider? If so, please hurry. If we treat it fast enough, he'll be okay. But if his symptoms worsen, there's a high chance he will die. One eternity later. It's you. Do you have the antidote? Yes, that's it. What a relief. I hope there's still time. I've done all I can. The rest is up to Mr. Dechuanga's constitution. Afterward, Mr. Dechuanga's condition rapidly grew worse. I think the herbs you retrieved did mitigate the poison. However, his internal organs are injured. It will prove fatal if he doesn't wake up. It's not your fault. Some people just have a tendency to rapidly worsen in this state. Oh, that's right. I should give you this. It's the reward Mr. Dechuanga told me to give you before his condition worsened and he fell unconscious. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to monitor any change in his condition. Oh, it's you. Don't worry, Mr. Dechuanga has gotten much better. To be honest, I thought he was a goner, but he made a miraculous recovery overnight. He is suffering some after effects, but luckily nothing major happened. He is fortunate. Hmm? You want to know where Mr. Dechuanga went? He's not on the ship. He said he was going to the headquarters of the Cave Raider Guild. He was a passenger who paid very well, so honestly, I wish he'd stayed here to rest. Anyway, please look after me. If you double the pay from last time, I wouldn't mind being your bodyguard again. Still, Mr. Dechuanga, you're a weird one. You almost died last time. You really want to go back to the Abyss? Actually, it's the opposite. Because I nearly died, I've decided to live without regrets. I have spent vast amounts of money collecting relics. However, I'm not satisfied anymore with the collection bought with money. I want to expand my collection in a way where I'm directly involved. Then again, if I see a relic I want, money is no object. Is that how it is? I don't get it. Anyway, I need to get prepared. Oh, it's you! I survived thanks to you. This is a small token of my appreciation. I hope you will accept it. Ever since I recovered, my condition has been great. I'm not suffering any lingering effects. Although, my eye color did change. According to Mio, perhaps the pigment in my eyes was destroyed by the poison. It came as a surprise to me, but as long as I'm alive, there's no point in worrying about it. Still, I haven't gotten used to seeing myself in the mirror. Now if you'll excuse me, we may meet again in the abyss. Listen up. There's a mission I want to assign you. 
There are reports of people being attacked by something mysterious in the first layer of the abyss. Rumor says it is a new kind of primeval creature, but nothing is sure yet. My gut feeling tells me, no. It's best not to give you any preconceived ideas. If you come across something strange in the first layer of the abyss, report back to me. This mission must be completed by you, alone. If you can complete it by yourself, I'll allow you to graduate from being a Red Whistle. Understood? Take as much time as you need. In exchange, don't overdo it. Moments later. All right, there's no mistake that what you fought in the first layer is the same thing from those reports. Well, at least we now know it's no primeval creature. Maybe it could be an autonomous relic, something like a robot. It's true that there are no reports about a relic like that, but I have an idea about what it could be. It's probably... no, never mind. There are reports of people being attacked by something mysterious in the second layer and below. You might encounter more of those things from here on out. Be prepared. As promised, you've now graduated from being a red whistle. Your blue whistle has already been prepared. Go speak to the director. I've heard from Jiduo. You completed your trial to be a blue whistle. Here. 
Take this. This is your blue whistle. Do you understand what it means to be a blue whistle? From now on, you're no trainee red whistle, but a full-fledged cave raider. In other words, you have to make more money. I forbid you from putting us in the red. Now that you're a blue whistle, you can't escape being strung up naked. You're only exempt from being strung up naked after you get to moon whistle. Make a big mistake. Steal a relic for yourself. Or put us at a loss and you'll be strung up naked. Keep that in mind. From now on, you must turn a higher profit. I have high hopes you shall make money befitting a blue whistle. Thank you. 